fuck some more people up. Yay! There we go. Supercharged Iron Man. Okay, we got Hulk. Yay! Oh, let me switch to Hulk. Yeah, here we go. This is how you clear out a large amount of shit fast. You use a Hulk. What the fuck? Jesus. That's a scary thought. Flying Hulk. Alright. Fuck them all up. Oh, do we have a Quicksilver over here? No, we don't. Uh, I guess that's a free play. Thing. Oh, here we go. The slow mo shots, yay! Ultron's getting bitched. All right. Here we go. More back and forth action. Come on. Fight him. Fight, fight, fight. Rock him, sock him, robots. Bit. <laughs> oh, he rocked him. Fuck him up. Yay! Kill him! You're fucked. Pig in trouble. Damn it, Hawkeye. Still a better performance than when uh, when Carl got shot on The Walking Dead. Boom! Shot in the eye. Daddy? And then falls over. Fuck. <laughs> Urge to kill Rising? Ultron undone. Yay! Skip that shit. Did I get the true Avenger? Barely. Iron Man Mark 45. 
I got the vision, which I'm probably gonna need. I got War Machine. Not bad. Ultimate Ultron Unlocked. Yay. Ultron Sentry Officer. Yay. And that's it. Nice. No Stan Lee. Fuck him. Two, three, four. Four. Four out of ten. It's not bad. One. And that leaves me with 20 out of 250. God, there's a lot of cleanup. Fuck. So at this point, I'm pretty sure the story's over. But let's continue anyway. Fuck. This is probably just going to be all cutscene. Death. Yay! We destroyed an entire city of a country. Hey big guy. We did it. The job's finished. Now I need you to turn this bird around, okay? We can't try nope. you in stealth mode. Nope. <laughs> it plays the classic Hulk music. Hulk, go away. Come back in Thor Ragnarok. You're the last one. You were supposed to be the last. I suppose we are both disappointments. <laughs> Well, I was born yesterday. Death. Ah, the Avengers Academy. So it doesn't count. No, it's not like a person lifting the hammer. Thank you. You can wield the hammer. You can keep the mind still. For now. Someone who's been playing an intricate game has made pawns of us. Until Thanos decides to rip it out of his fucking forehead. This one. There's nothing that can't be explained. What? That man has no regard. I'm gonna miss him though, and you're gonna miss me. There's gonna be a lot of manful tears. I will miss you, Tony. Yeah. Well, it's time for me to tap out. You all right? Until you have to fight him in Civil War. Yeah. They're good. They're not a team. Let's beat them into shape. Avengers! Assemble! Which is probably gonna be the first fucking word that is on screen in Civil War. Swear to God. Anyway, that is the end of the story of Marvel Lego Marvel Avengers but I'm pretty sure that we have a lot of cleanup to do we have we also have a lot of side mi missions um, most of which are probably storyline based from shorter movies I know there's one for Iron Man 3, one for Thor, the dark side. Um, what else is there? Winter Soldier is another one. And I think there's like one or two more? I think so. But other than that, we have a shitload of characters to unlock. We have a shipload of mini kits to collect, gold bricks to collect, 
we just basically have a shitload of things left to do. But like I said earlier, I don't know if I'm actually going to do a 100% walkthrough of this game. Like, I might show you how to unlock all the characters. I don't know, but I will be showing the um, special missions, as they are apparently called. Special story side missions. I don't know. We'll have to see, like, how far I, I get into it. But, um... I think as for now, we're going to just uh, leave it here, and then I will continue on with the side missions. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you again next time. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Oh my god, again? Is that the Infinity Gun? Oh, it's the Infinity... Oh, washing machine. Is there any more? No, because we're on the helicarrier. Okay. So you know what? I might actually use this opportunity. Who the fuck are you? Techno? By the way, as you can see, we have... Iron Man in space, okay. Iron Man scuba. We have the Red Skull. Captain America space. Captain America scuba. Hyperion. Atlas. Citizen V. Jolt. We got Mach V. Meteoroid. Songbird. Techno. Agent 13. Black Panther Civil War. Captain America Civil War, Crossbone Civil War, Falcon Avenger, Iron Man Mark 46, which is, I think, the suit that he's wearing in Civil War. Then we have Scarlet Witch Civil War, we have War Machine Civil War, and we have Winter Soldier Civil War. We do not have Spider Man Civil War. God damn it. But anyway, yeah, I guess um, let the cleanup begin next time. Okay, so this is what Spider-Man looks like in Captain America Civil War. Now, it's quite a big change from the um, Sam Raimi trilogy and the Amazing Spider-Man um the two movies from the Amazing Spider-Man series. A lot of these changes are very trivial to me. It's kind of along the same lines as, you know, Sonic's arms are now blue. It It's kind of a weird thing to get used. It's a change, but it's a change that you can basically take with a grain of salt. Because, you know, while Sonic's arms have only been recently turned blue, it, it kind of fits a little bit more to what Sonic the Hedgehog really is as to where this costume is different from what you've originally seen in other Spider-Man films, what with the Sam Raimi trilogy and the two Amazing Spider-Man films. I think this looks good. I kind of understand why they kind of hid it from the public eye now. Because... Um, I can already tell that this costume is not for everyone. This costume is supposed to keep with the Spider-Man look, but change it up to the fa to the point where it's not 
it's its own identity, I guess you could say. Um, one thing I will point out is that the emblem on his chest is a, uh, a tad bit too small, in my opinion. It just, you can barely see it's there. But, uh, yeah. Like, maybe if it was, maybe, I would say three times bigger, you could actually tell what that was. Because that's always one thing you you notice about Spider-Man. When you see him... Like, no matter where he's basically standing, you can pretty much easily decipher the spider emblem on his chest. At least, that's how it's always been, for me at least. Although, I will say that the um, the, the Spider-Man emblem for the Amazing Spider-Man series... is kind of a little too big, in my opinion, and the arms just kind of like you know, droop down a little bit too much. It, it's just completely different. However, um, a special thank you goes out to uh, the to the IGN Rewind Theater because without them, I would have missed these two shots completely. So the first one is the emblem on his back. Now you can only see this for about two frames of footage during the um, Captain America Civil War second trailer. Because it's basically there, and shortly after this frame, it's gone and you can't see it. Unless you actually manage to pause it, which is what basically Rewind Theater does. And I would have totally missed this because it's pretty much reminiscent to the classic Spider-Man back symbol. Which I like. It really, it's it's really a nice touch, and I'm glad that they did that. It still kind of concerns me why the back emblem is so big, but the front emblem is like pretty much microscopic. But yeah, that's kind of what it is. Next, we have the web shooters. This is a yet another one. I couldn't actually zoom this this picture in, but this is as good as you can get. Now, it looks like the web shooters are black, and I don't understand it because from what I can you can kind of make out they're a little bit bulky. Like they're they're bulky and they're they're black, so they really stand out as opposed to the web shooters from The Amazing Spider-Man 2, whereas you can see here they are Smaller, really sleeker, so they basically just like rest among his wrists and you can't really see them that well. But at the same time, they're small and they blend in with his costumes, so they don't really... They wouldn't really be used as much of a a target for, you know, supervillains. Because like, if there's something big and black on your wrist that is basically... 90% of what you are using to take them down or whatever. Basically, all they would have to do is destroy that and they would have a better advantage against him. Now, with them being smaller and sleeker and pretty much blending into his costume completely, you wouldn't even know they were there. You wouldn't even basically assess them as a target unless you actually knew they were there prior to fighting him. So I think that um, the web shooters from The Amazing Spider-Man 2 would have definitely been a lot better of a choice to go with. Something along that line. It, it just... These new ones, they don't look very well put together. They, they, don't, they don't look very high-tech at all. But, um, like, we don't even know what kind of spider-man this really is right now it could be like a fresh well obviously it is a fresh take on spider-man but we don't know how how long he's actually been been spider-man for he's like a 15 year old kid in this version of the film and we don't know very much else other than that but um moving on to the overall color scheme of the costume now, 
I watched the trailer on my 4K TV. So, picture is pretty much crystal clear. Crystal fucking clear. And I don't know if it's just me or does the red in his costume seem a lot less red and a lot more pink to me. I don't really know. Um, maybe it's just the lighting they, they had in this shot that makes it look a little bit pinker or lighter than the actual red that you would see. Because if you look back at the, the costume used in the Sam Raimi trilogy, you can kind of see that the reds and the blues are more vibrant and they, they pop out, they stand out more. Uh, the black design of the web that basically runs through his entire costume is it stands out and it looks just more realistic and vibrant. That's why I think that this Spider-Man costume, which was all, which was all like there was no CGI used on these fucking on that that costume. It was all practical. I think that's definitely the best looking Spider-Man costume in any of the movies so far. So, yeah, this is the best spider looking Spider-Man by far. Now, there's one more thing I want to ca I want to question on talk about on this costume. If you actually go back and you watch the trailer, you can kind of see that as Spider-Man talks, the eye formations in his mask basically change as if Spider-Man's eyes, like his actual eyes, are the eyes of his mask. Like they actually, they actually move to stimulate emotion. And I think that's all that is supposed to do because if you look at the other two Spider-Man incarnations... You can't really tell emotion while wearing a mask. That's one of the problems with a lot of like masked superheroes. You can't really tell emotion unless you lift the mask up. So I bas I guess they they basically CGI'd the eyes to basically coincide with what emotion the character is feeling at that time. It's kind of cartoony, but you know, that's it. It doesn't really bother me that his eyes move when he talks. It's just... Yeah, it is what it is. I think it's a fine costume. It's not going to deter me from going to see the movie. Christ, at this point in time, I've waited too fucking long for it anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. Um, I got tickets for opening night. And it's going to be fucking insane. Anyway, that's it for Lego Marvel Super Heroes for now. Thank you for listening to my little Spider-Man costume review reveal thing. <laughs> if you tell me, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you later on. Thanks for watching.